Now to the world of medicine and some important research that could help scientists fight cancer and other diseases. Well, you've probably noticed that two people the same age can appear to grow older at completely different rates. But inside your body, the tissues can age differently as well. CCTV's Yakenda McGee has more. It's a fact of life we can't escape. We're inevitably going to age. While it's embraced in adolescence and early adulthood, getting old can become a burden over time. And when the biological clock starts ticking, we inevitably start searching for that fountain of youth. But could a team of UCLA scientists have found it? Not in a bottle or on a store shelf, but in the complex coding of our DNA. I would refer to it, um, this tool as a promising um, navigational device that may bring us to the fountain of youth. Another interesting finding was that um, you can use drastic rejuvenation um, therapies to reset this clock. You take a mature cell, for example a skin cell, and then you turn it into an induced pluripotent stem cells. And this procedure um, resets the aging clock back to uh, zero. Scientists can estimate that reverse aging in part because of an even more significant discovery from Horvath's research, the discovery of an epigenetic clock, a highly accurate tool which measures the age of body tissue, organs, even cells. Much like a regular clock keeps track of hours, an epigenetic clock keeps track of years. Think of it this way. We know this clock tells time. Why? Because it's working. But unless you're a clockmaker, you may not know the intricate inner mechanisms that make it work. Such is the case for researchers who discovered the epigenetic clock. While they may not understand how it works, they know what it tells them. While most of the body is aging at the same rate, they found a peculiar divergence in two particular tissues. One was um, heart tissue, which um, appears to be significantly younger than expected, so by 10 years or so in a 50-year-old. But the other tissue that diverged was female breast tissue. Horvath found healthy breast tissue to be two to three years older, cancerous tumors as much as 36 years older, and healthy tissue next to a tumor 12 years older, a significant finding that experts say could help fight and understand disease progression and aging progression as well. You cannot study what you cannot measure. And so the hope is that this new epigenetic clock will allow us to slow down aging Though experts caution that many pieces of this genetic puzzle are still missing, Dr. Horvath hopes his work will help the next researchers find it. Yekenda McGehee, CCTV, Los Angeles.